Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Thanks to Sawmill Throw, we were able to unlock the Crumble Cavern. We'll see how things go. Are we afraid? Are we afraid of the crumble? Is this level going to be crumb believable? We'll find out. I'm pretty excited about it. Looks a little mysterious in this cave. But we'll see what we can do here today. Speaking of things you can do today, you can watch this video. You can love this video, which I would recommend. You can comment on the video. I love the comments. It's always great. I'll try to respond to those if slash when they happen. You can like this video. You could like it. You really like it. And if you haven't, find out about all the D-Mike Plays goodies. You gotta subscribe. It'll be here for you on the exact times that I post it. So prepare yourselves. All kinds of good stuff coming up. Oh, not like that. That's not good. That is not a good start to this video. I got so caught up in promoting myself that I forgot that I um, played a game. Which sometimes promoting yourself is a bit of a game too. So, whoa, was not, oh, okay. Not mean to do that, that was a little scary. Ooh. Speaking of things that are scary, Anybody ever been like uh, cave exploring? What's that? Spelunking? That's a great word. Anybody ever done that? Oh, come on. Give me that. Give me the gosh dang vine. Anyway. Ever been cave exploring? Like really cave exploring? Getting in there nice and real deep like. Potentially wearing a helmet. A flashlight on your head? Yeah. That's real cave exploring. I've uh, never actually been myself, but I have... Oop, we're dead. <laughs> that was not successful. I like how it still gives you the pity life and the banana coin anyway. Well, about that. So we're actually going to die because we want to be able to finish this level. I want to say in one try, but who knows at this point? We're doing great. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves. It's a war of attrition, everybody. But, uh, yeah. Cave diving, spelunking, all, whatever. Oh, we'll get out of here. Whatever nomenclature you'd like to use. I don't know if there's another word for it, but that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? I remember reading this story of this guy who was just, he was just lollygagging. Having a time. And, uh, yeah. He was exploring some sort of a cave, I think with like his brother or something like that. And it was advised that he not go any deeper than the normal route. And he did not heed the warning of the various signs and cave guides that were, oop, we're about to die again. Oh man. And if you think this is bad, you just wait to the level after this one, okay. So, didn't pay any attention, like I am. Although I am in the safe comfort of my home, I'm not trying to challenge Mother Nature. But, ooh, that was close. He, uh, yeah, he didn't listen to anybody. And he, he explored a little bit too deep. He got in too deep. And it's hard to keep. So... Yeah, he didn't pay attention to the rules, didn't follow the instructions. Hopefully third time's a charm with this basic minigame that I keep messing up. These are not intentional deaths, I promise you. I'm legitimately having trouble here. I think it's also because I don't have the, the partner Kong, so this minigame crutch that I normally have is not present. So I need to be a little bit more patient. Oh, oh. <laughs> I almost died again there too. That would've been bad, wouldn't it? I mean, they're all bad. There's never a time that I die, I'm like, you know what, that one wasn't so bad. But I guess, like, some of them are more excusable than others. Unless you're, like, a professional Donkey Kongist, and you're like, you know what? Never an excuse. There's so much more of this level that I've yet to do yet that, uh, it makes me a little frustrated that I can't show it off yet because I keep goofing. But anyway, you gotta go back here and grab this guy. 
So you can slam that big sack. Like, get yourself that buzz. Yeah, anyway, he didn't follow the rules and uh, he got stuck. And I think that, like, I remember reading that he got stuck, like, facing head down, which I think is, like, one of my biggest nightmares. That sounds horrible. Yeesh. And they were really close to rescuing him, but, uh, he, he got wedged in this area that was just too tight for rescuers to really get to, and they were actually able to unwedge him briefly, but then he slipped and fell when, like, the, the pulley system collapsed, so, man... What a rough way to go. Stay safe with your hobbies, ladies and gentlemen. Be careful out there. Mother Nature... She ain't playing around. Okay. So enough about sad stories. Let's talk about fun things. Springtime is just around the corner. I think it's great. I'm in over here. Enjoying sitting on these big purple mushrooms. That's fun, right? Join that? Yeah. So far, I think I've grabbed all the puzzle pieces that I have been afforded. Ooh. You gotta be careful with these dried out vines. They, uh, they will collapse under you. Let me check my... Yes, I do believe I'm on track. Okay, so here's your... First decision to make, split path. You're going to want to take the top one. The bottom one actually doesn't amount to anything, so. And there's two barrels. The tippy top, that's the one to get you another, uh, another bonus, which at this point I'm very afraid of. Actually, I find these ones to be a little bit easier than the bouncy platform ones. There's a little bit of stability going around. The bouncy platform ones always just give me a little bit of trouble. That's probably just because I'm dumb. But hey, whatever. We're having fun, right? These bonus games are so great. Never invented this, knew what they were doing. Oh. There we go. Don't forget, grab the puzzle piece. I almost hit the wrong button and would have died there. That would have been awesome. Okay, that's five. So far, so good. It's really funny though when I go and I play through this for this channel, obviously. I'm doing my best to be comprehensive. I'm trying to showcase all the puzzle pieces, all the DK letters, etc, etc. But it's really funny when I go back and like I check my uh, my personal game, my casual playthrough, and it's like I'm missing it. I'm missing a lot. So but I'm doing this for you guys, you know? I'm sticking my neck out. Sticking my banana no, not not quite that. Sticking my neck out to make sure that you guys get to see everything that this game has to offer. And there are some games that I won't do that for, obviously. Like, I'm not I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not a, a completionist. I'm not going to be... I don't have time for that, unfortunately. If this was, like, a full-time thing for me, maybe I would change my mind. But, unfortunately, there's only so many hours in the day. And, you know, you got to com commit to the workforce. Do your job. Do your job. You got one shot at this one. That's the end. When that vine crashes down, if you don't grab that one, that's all you got. There's a little bit of wiggle room here, which is nice. Like, obviously, like, I completely missed that barrel, as you saw. And this one, too. You got one shot at the G. You got one shot to be a G. And you can grab whatever you want on this upward spiral. There's no real uh, requirement. There's no puzzle pieces. There's no... There is Thread and Needle, uh, incredibly epically, so you're welcome. Okay. Sometimes I don't get my thumb up there fast enough and I feel real stupid because I'm just trying to go wiggle it back and forth. I'm just trying to wiggle it back and forth for you. Okay. So that's 2A. A2. We're going to be doing two levels in this, in this episode. The Rodent Hruckus. This is an, an episode with a level, the first of its kind in this specific game. However, it did exist in the in the prequel. This one's a bit of a doozy, and I probably won't be able to do this all at once, so we'll see. I don't have the muscle memory that I used to. I'm just getting old. Can't remember where things are. Who am I? What's my name? 
the easiest of the puzzle pieces that you'll collect is in here. A little sneaky of them to put that there, and of course it's a bouncy one. The game just loves to punish me. But thankfully this is just a, a vertical banana grab. I'm gonna grab those bananas. Hop up and down on those bananas. Yes. I really hope that there's a, uh, a threequel to Donkey Kong Country. I don't really know much about what Retro Studios is up to. I don't follow gaming studios very often. Gaming news usually hits me on accident. Or I'll have a friend be like, hey, did you see X, Y, and Z thing? And I'm like, no. Also, I've never shown this off, and this is a really horrible example to do it. But I'm going to hit L and R right here and show you the, uh, the banana gauge has been filled up. And when you do that, any enemy in the area usually gets turned into a heart. So there's that. And what is this, you might ask? Well, this, my friends, is a rocket barrel level. Prepare yourselves for this. Oh, I'm very stressed out. These type of levels are not, uh, not the easiest. You gotta be very vigilant, paying a lot of attention, running into stuff if you have to. Grab those lives if you need them. I guess they grab those lives when you need them if you're me. Oops. Okay, great. Yes. Oh, oh, oh is right. Make sure you grab all these bananas here in this. Oops. Okay. Well, I needed all of those and I didn't get them. So we will plummet Dixie and Donkey Kong to their deaths. Great. Yeah, these rocket barrel levels are no joke. That's for sure. Oh, but didn't get it that time either. <laughs> At least it puts me right there, though. So you'll see me redoing this brief segment. Hopefully not more than one more time. There we go. Third time's the charm. I say that, but it's definitely not true. Ooh, excuse you. Don't forget the puzzle piece. That's not a puzzle piece. That's a letter. Okay. Doing great. Oh, there's a puzzle piece down there. Did I get it? Nope. I like that I see it right as I am approaching impending doom. That's good though, right? That's fun. You see it and you're like, oh, there it is. And then you're like, oh, and there it goes. That's great. That's the story of my life. I am kind of the opposite of Carpe Diem. I seize the day after it's already nighttime. So oh, there it is again. It's very tricky though, because the game lures you in with those bananas and you're like, all right, I'm going to get those bananas. <sighs> all right, we'll get it. Guys, it's fine. Relax. You're in good hands. You're in decent. You're in OK hands. Just relax. I just have to not make the same mistake again by getting caught up in those bananas. Oh, and I did it again. Actually, I ran into something and that threw me off course. So that was and was not my fault. All at the same time. I will take 50% blame. Okay. So I just need to stay low. Drop it down low. Drop it to the flow. Here we go. Come on. Oh. That's annoying. I promise I will not be trying this 96 times. That's a really tricky little dip that you have to do there. And the way that the rocket barrel works is that like you can hold the button to fly higher and just let it go to fly lower. Um, but there we go. No, oh, come on. Jeez. What I like to do though instead is because Holding on to the button sometimes gives me too much altitude and too much momentum. I like to just kind of tap it. That gives you a little bit of a, you can probably hear that little, little bit, 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 bit. Gives you a little bit uh, more control of what you're trying to do. All right, I'm ready for it this time. Come on, here we go. Yes, first try, I'm amazing. Okay, here we go, it's time for the big cheese. This part is very cool. Flying in and around a giant wheel. I'm not sure exactly how that makes sense, but you know. Also, who likes Swiss cheese? Delicious. 
I wouldn't say that I'm like a big connoisseur of a, of a Swiss cheese. Got the final letter coming up here at the bottom, so get ready for it. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I like that I said get ready for it, and then I wasn't ready for it. Okay. Oh, okay. This game is having pity on me. <laughs> Let's ignore that. We didn't see that. That wasn't even a thing. Don't worry. The game's like, man, you are bad. It's like when you play, like, um, Mario 3D World, and then after a while you unlock, like, the, uh, the invincible Tanuki suit, and the game is just like, man, you could not be more worse at this game. But yes, now we'll prepare ourselves for the, the Swiss cheese. We don't want to turn into Swiss cheese. Oop. As long as we don't die in the moments in between. It's in the middle here. Yes. First try. Okay. Now our rocket barrel will sputter out of fuel and drop us onto this other piece of cheese that's being held up by hot air balloons. I feel like that would be a melty situation, but don't. Can't hit that barrel just yet. You gotta go to the right. Ooh, I almost died. <laughs> oh man. I am a pro at this game, I tell you what. Okay. So that was exciting. Man, it feels good to just, just get it, you know, all four letters, all five pieces, just like one try, like feels so good. I enjoyed a lot. Okay. And that final level unlocks the ultimate challenge level 2k which we will do next time with the boss but first as per usual let's go ahead and grab ourselves some toys and we're an adult so there would be toys for an adult adult toys here we go okay that's new that's not and we have so many funkies Ooh, okay all right, so that was like, what, two out of five, three out of five, new? That's pretty good. I wanna say two out of five, new. Okay, feeling good, everybody. Hopefully you are, I am. And next time, actually one of, this is probably one of my favorite levels in the entire game, which I will do poorly, but it will be a lot of fun. We'll be taking on 2K bop op -alis. I've been D-Mike, everybody. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and I'll see you next time. Bye.